In the following screencast, I'm going to show you, in case of an emergency, that you could log into your iCloud account um, after you have enabled the Find My Mac service on the laptop. So you'll notice that I've already enabled the Find My Mac service, which requires uh, administrative access to the computer and an Apple ID account. Um, once I've done so, I can go ahead and go to uh, iCloud.com and then sign in using my Apple ID. Now, your Apple ID is something that uh, is a private and uh, personal ID between you and Apple. However, one of the features of it is that when you'll notice that when I log into iCloud.com, I have a number of tools that are available, and one of those tools is the Find My iPhone. Uh, it should be called Find My iPhone, Find My Mac, Find My iPad. Once it does so, it will locate my devices, and in this case, um, the laptop that I'm using, uh, number 227 here, um, I can say that it has located, it's getting the green light, and um, if I needed to, if this laptop was no longer in my possession and I was worried that it was a security risk, I could lock the Mac. If it was a stolen laptop, I could go ahead uh, and begin a process to erase um, the Mac and then have it restored later. Um, by uh, the support service system. In this case, I'm just going to show you um, uh, one of the features is just to uh, play a sound. Uh, so if I had lost it in another room, I could locate it as well. The goal here is to recognize that the, uh, in combination with the Find My Mac uh, service that has been enabled on my laptop and my private and personal um, Apple ID, I have the ability to secure remote and lock remotely wipe and lock on the computer.